when I strapped myself in my O1E Cessna Bird Dog aircraft, I was shotgun 1-3 in the Mekong Delta of Vietnam 1965-66. This is a shot of the Seven Mountains region of the Mekong Delta. Everything else was flat as a pancake. The Seven Mountains were each named after a French general's mistress. However, I think probably today those names have been changed. All the Mekong Delta was darn near as flat as a pancake, as you can see from these movies. And during the uh, rainy season, which was about six months long, excuse me, this is uh, one of the advisors I flew with out of Vin Long. And we did support the special forces in uh, the Mekong Delta. There were no American troops or ground troops, forces. So we supported the special forces, uh, Americans and and. Uh, that, that advisor was working with the Vietnamese. And uh, so, but anyway, back to the uh, six months rainy period, it rained for an hour every day, regular clockwork, and then it would clear up and you'd go on. It didn't, wasn't like flying in bad weather or anything. They weren't, they didn't have frontal systems like we have. But anyway, it flooded everything, raised a lot of rice and exported rice, and still do, I understand. And you can see more of the terrain. It's all pretty flat. And it was easy flying because the only thing really above, much above sea level were those mountains. If you stayed away from those and the weather got bad and you got foggy or something, you just drop down on the deck and, and go on. Now we're going to see an airstrike here in just a minute. If you look in the middle of the screen, see that white puff there in the middle? I marked a target with a, a marking rocket, 2.75 inch rocket with a Willie Peter head on it. In a minute, you're going to see a little more fire here. The Air Force coming in for a little airstrike. Now they put the first bomb in. See, it's getting a little more attractive looking. Here we go again. Now watch this. Wham. Air Force to the rescue. Of course, we got out of the way because they weren't looking for bird dogs. We were going to get run over. Here we're flying a little formation. I guess that's probably with Norm Savara, who I was flying with out at Rock Jaw. I'm really not sure, to tell you the truth. But anyway, the bird dog's a great little plane. It always got me home. It's not fast or pretty. But it'd do about 120, 125 miles an hour downhill. And uh, But she's a great little bird. Carried four rockets, either high explosive heads or white phosphorus. We call them Willie Peter rockets. WP, that's what they're called in the Army. For marking targets, depending on our mission, whether we carried the uh, high explosives or the um, Willie Peter uh, rockets. Okay, here we are doing a little buzz job uh, with the town of Rockjaw, and this is the field that we worked out, a little landing strip we worked out of at Rockjaw. It was about 2,000 feet long, 20 or 30 feet wide gravel, and the main street going out of town ran right through the middle of it, so when we were taking off landing, the little white mice, we call their policemen, uh, <coughs> would shut the traffic off for us, stop the traffic. And this is a sign, uh, sort of a tongue-in-cheek sign, Lock Hong International Aerodrome, plus or minus five feet elevation. And that was about, that was, that was true. And here comes the uh, arm down, stop the traffic, stop sign. We got a plane coming in to land. Here it comes. Looks like an Air Force pilot was laying this thing. Watch how he's bouncing, bouncing around. And I thought he was going to lose it here for a minute. There he goes. Typical Air Force. Had to put a little jab in there. Here goes the Air Force pilot out. And they, this guy had a nice... Uh, tiger mouth painted on his cowling. Our old man wouldn't let us do that. 
he was a little stiff about stuff like that. He was climbing out over the Gulf of Siam, and now the traffic's coming back across the runway. <clears throat> There we go. He comes back down to this there for a He's just trying to show off and have no buzz job. Here's yours truly getting in the cockpit. And now I'm in the plane and I'm pointing out the arming switches for our rockets we carried. And we're getting ready to fire one. Here it goes. There it goes. 2.75 inch rocket with a high explosive head on that one, I believe. Either that or a Willie P Peter white phosphorus and this is in uh, Vin Long and, and uh, the helicopter company there is going to do a tribute to a pilot who was killed a couple days before in a Huey his crew chief or his gunner was firing his uh, machine gun out the door the pilot did an abrupt maneuver the crew chief fell on the weapon it sprayed bullets in the cockpit and killed the pilot unfortunately his name was M and that's the reason for this M formation or his name started with an M I'm sorry I cannot remember his name at this time. But this was in tribute to him, and everybody was uh, pretty upset about it. Set him back a little. This is a typical strip. Uh, I'm not sure where this one was, but it's about 50 feet wide, th gravel. Mac McMonagle is pre flighting his bird dog. He's the one at the back to the camera. Get a close-up of him just a minute. He's a great guy, good friend of mine. He was our, also our instrument instructor pilot, so we got our we had an instrument trainer, bird dog, and uh, Mac would give us our annual checkups. And that's Mac checking his fuel. And here Mac goes off little strip he probably won't show off too like most pilots he's gonna come around and give us a buzz job here he goes little little buzz job there and he's gonna pull that thing up zoom up and that old bird dog will do some climbing put the nose down Mac there you go more shots of the Mekong Delta Rain like the Dickens for six months every day in the rainy season. Rain for an hour, then he quit. No frontal weather. We didn't have frontal weather over there like we have here. This is a selfie. And looking out the back of the bird dog. I'm not sure where this was. Some landing strip somewhere, but I'm not familiar. Most of them had a lake beside them a, a pond where they dredged the dirt out to build the runway up every one of them had water on each side this is a landing at sock trang which is where i was assigned first it was an old japanese uh, carrier training base and the runway is 300 feet wide that's so the carrier boys uh, japanese could learn to land uh, and take off into the wind as carrier pilots do and uh, it was a nice facility at an officer's club and <coughs> nice hooches. It, it was a pleasant place to be assigned. I was there about two months and then I went to Ven Long for the rest of my tour. And we're going to land in here. And I'll wrap up this. Little bounce there.